our app is running successfully and our message is connected with SQL Server. And now click on create database and message is database created successfully. Now click on create tables and the message is table created successfully. In this video, I am going to show you how to create SQL Server database in Android app using Java. First create a new project, select empty views activity and click on next and give the project name here and select language Java and click on finish. Now project sync has finished and go to manifest and uses permission internet. Now go to the Gradle script and click on build.gradle and add a JTDS JDBC dependency here and version is 1.3.1 now hover the mouse here and replace with new library catalog declaration for JTDS. Click here. Now click on sync now. And our library syncs successfully. Now add a Java class here, select Java class and give the name connection class and hit the enter and now declare some variables. So first variable is net dot source for dot jtds dot jdbc driver and second is IP address this IP for Android emulator only for the external device use IP4 and this is a port for our SQL server and username SA and our password is 12345 and this is the connection string Now open the activity main layout and add a button here Now I have created two buttons one for create database and one for create tables in database and I add a function here on click function on click and add a function here on click create tables hover the mouse here and create on main activity now we have successfully created two function here
now create connection class and select the connection java dot sql con and I create a string database name and a str now on in the on create on create function assign the database name here, here. so database name is equal and give a database name in my case I am giving my my database you can keep any connection class is equal new connection class and con con is equal connection class dot con now create a function connect for checking connectivity with our server and create a function connect and check a condition if con is equal null then str is equal error else connected with sql server and make a toast message connected with sql server and call this connect function is on create connect now create a function for create database now call the executor service and pass the condition if connection is not null if connection is null then pass the string error as and create the database in this else part and create a string create db query and here is our database name my database so create query queries create database and pass the database name on primary name is equal name is equal data files and file name first create two folders in f drive or you can choose any drive one is my data files for storing data files and another is my log file for storing log files and copy these locations and paste here for data files and location of the log files paste here and pass database name here and
फोर डेटाबेस लॉक फाइल्स एंड गिव द साइज एंड मैक्सिमम साइज एंड ग्रोथ रेट एंड क्रिएट अ स्टेटमेंट एस टी एम टी कॉन डॉट क्रिएट स्टेटमेंट एंड स्टेटमेंट डॉट एग्जीक्यूट अपडेट क्रिएट डी बी क्वारी इफ दिस क्वारी इज सक्सेसफुल देन स्ट्रिंग एस टी आर इज इज इक्वल डेटा बेस क्रिएटेड सक्सेसफुली एंड पोस्ट दिस स्ट्रिंग इन text view now create a tables so copy these executor service now first check the condition con if con is equal null then string error and create a statement create a query Use and which database? Database pass the database name and create a tables. So I am creating a tables employee and creating columns employee ID. Import employee ID type integer and this is auto increment primary key, last name, first name and city. and same way i am using i am creating a table customers and a creating a table category and these are the column of the tables if table created successfully then pass a string tables created successfully and post in the text view now run the app now first open our sql server management studio and connect on databases so there are no database here now run the app now our app is running successfully and our message is connected with sql server and now click on create database and message is database created successfully now click on create tables and the message is table created successfully now check the our database and tables in management studio so open the management studio and now connect and our my database is created successfully now check the tables and click on tables and our tables dbo dot category dbo dot customer and dbo dot employee has created successfully now check the rows so our rows created successfully category id category name customer name employee name and city so if you like the video please like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video